So we've been talking a lot about these different tools that are available for the contract documents, things like schedules and tags and uh, column lines and all of those kinds of things. But another important thing to remember is that there are gonna be a lot of different stages of the drawing. So I'll have obviously the big stages, like the difference between a design drawing and a contract documents drawing, but also as the contract documents are moving along, there'll be points along the way where the drawings actually go through various transformations. And those different stages become an important way of sort of seeing where you're at along the way. So for example, I might have an early stage of drawings, kind of in that design drawing kind of thinking where I have a big overall dimension and it's telling me how big the building is. But then as I start building in more information, maybe I'm now getting to a spot where, all right, I've got multiple pieces of dimensional information in here that are gonna fill out how I'm thinking about the overall process of talking about this as a structure. So I'm getting more and more detailed. And at some point I'm saying that, all right, here's the last little bit of information that I'm gonna say on this drawing. And now everything else I want you to find, if you wanna get some more detail about what's going on, you're gonna use that tag and go to some other drawing that's gonna give you more information. So this would go through multiple phases. I would first see that overall dimension. Then at a later phase, I would start to see the breakdown of those dimensions to get a little bit more detail. And then at a later phase, I'd actually go through and make sure that all the tags and all those elements are sending me to the appropriate drawings. I don't wanna do that kind of tagging too early because there's still too many things that are changing. I wouldn't want to start putting tag information in at a point when things were still slipping and sliding around and what was going on, what drawing was being altered or we still hadn't finalized uh, exactly how we were going to organize certain parts of the drawing. I would want to wait and do that at the end. That's one of those sort of stages of the drawing. I have to make sure that I'm working on the things as they are appropriate for the process that we're in. So first of all, there's the big stages that are different. So that's the design drawings versus the contract document type drawings. And then there's the sort of stages of the contract document drawings as they're being produced. I'm going to start with big picture ideas and make sure that everything is sort of working at the grand scale. And then I'm going to get more and more into the detail and fill out the information. So we just talked about dimensions. I could have the same conversation about Pochet. I'm going to have walls, I'm drawing in the walls. The drawings should read without any poche in them. I should understand through line weights and through other elements kind of generally what we're talking about and be able to use that set of drawings for a period of time in the early phases. But then as I'm getting more and more specific understanding of what the materials actually are, I can start filling in through poche, through notes, through those different elements, what those materials really look like in that plan. And so I'm building up that information. It doesn't necessarily help me very much to start in the corner and get more and more detailed, more and more detailed, and then slowly make the drawing kind of come alive through the rest of it. I need to be able to have the overall idea clear and down. Then I need to add a level of detail into it. Then I need to add another level of detail of materiality and dimensions into it so that I can bring it up all the way. Then I need to start adding in uh, all the excess notes that I haven't gotten to yet. And then I need to start adding all the tags that are gonna tell me this is related to that so that I can build it up as it goes along. The whole point here is that every drawing should be readable at every phase. I want the plan to still look like a plan when I'm 20% done. It doesn't help me to have a plan that's not readable when we're 20% done because I'm making decisions off of that plan. I need to be able to use it for my decision making. So I want a simple version of it that I can then build up the information. Same with the section. I'm going to start with a simple version of the section and then as I build up and, and get more detailed, that section may change quite a bit, but it's useful to have started with one that's sort of the simplified idea because that's how I'm going to know that I need to start making alterations to it. And I'm going to build up that information and eventually 
I'll start putting all the tag information on to send me from that section to the wall sections, to uh, elevations, to detail moments about the parapets or whatever it happens to be. So I'm going to build that information up. They should have multiple stages and those multiple stages probably align with very specific aspects to how you're producing your process. I'm going to have a design development process. I'm going to get to a certain point. We're going to have a design type drawings. We're going to get a sign off with the client. We're going to take those drawings. We're going to start moving into contract document type drawings. There'll be a moment where we're still sort of like design drawings, but we've moved into the contract documents. So those are going to be simplified drawings with probably no poche. Uh, and then from there, we're going to move in uh, to a more detailed version. Now we're getting into a spot where we're working with the engineers and we're coordinating the information back and forth. So now detail information is starting to uh, find its way into the drawings. And then eventually I'm getting to the spot where we now have a really good idea of how everything's laid out and we can uh, cross-reference from one drawing to the other in a very clear manner. And then I can get to the spot where we're then coordinating. We're really going through with a fine comb and looking through all of the specific pieces of information and making sure that everything coordinates uh, logically together and making whatever changes that we need to make. So then I can finally use that set to do use for coordination. We can take all those elements, we can go back and forth and make sure all that level of specific detail is in there uh, and that everything is coordinated together and not causing a problem. We have to get to that point uh, so we can finalize the set, but we want to be able to use it at each of those different points along the way. So not very helpful to start with a whole lot of detail and then fill it all out because that just means that most of the time the building isn't finished. Uh, you want it to always be useful, to always be the whole idea, and then you're filling in the information. And that's going to be true with dimensions, it's going to be true with the idea of poche. Remember, whenever we talk about poche during contract documents phase, that's meaningful poche. It has to be telling us something specific and real. It's not an emotional or emotive idea of just saying solid versus less solid. It's, it's telling us something about the materiality specifically or it's telling us something about the process, like these are walls that are going to be removed, or these are new walls versus the other ones that don't have poche are existing walls. So whenever we talk about poche, we're talking about meaningful use when we're talking about it in the contract document context. Uh, notes, we're going to start with simple notes and then we're going to build up and fill them out. And then the tags and all of that to get us from one drawing to another. We don't want to do that until we're ready to do that because the drawings will keep changing. And then once that point is ready where everything is pretty much set and we're ready to do sort of coordination, that's when we want to make sure all the tags are in and you can clearly find uh, each of the different uh, drawings as you go through. So each phase has logic to it and each phase is slightly different, but they're all aiming towards that end product where the whole thing is all together.